Hey there, it's Patmos, and nice of you to join me for the next episode with Rostriff Town. And well, we can see people working, some trees growing, I guess. I don't know, maybe these are bushes. Nope, these are trees that will just mature at a certain time. And well, here we have a part of town. We are now creating a primary school, which is good for our children. They'll be educated, we can put them in educated jobs. We still have a shortage of people, so I guess it's time first to make sure that we get some extra housing going. Here we have our little square. It's not really a square, but a circular part of town. And let's add some houses to it to make sure that we, um, well, have plenty of houses soon. We'll keep a little bit of distance here so that some sort of a street forms. And, of course, we'll have to rotate them a bit to, to keep the round shape, I think. Shouldn't do too many space in between. I want to place them pretty close to one another. So, yeah. Because there's walking space in between anyway, so... Don't have to keep too much space between. Alright. This one here, then. Let's continue on this side. So people live rather close to the... Uh, this one is placed a bit too far to the front. People live rather close to the... Um, school, that's good. Is that they can go to school at an early age. Probably use this space to do some decorations as well. And let's just continue with the housing, make a full circle again. That at least gives us the uh, good opportunity of growing our population. And after this, we can see what will be next, of course. Probably some industries or something like that. Oh, we can fit a house in right here. Perfect. Well, I say that's a lot of housing. We have a messenger. Ooh, this is good because I want to buy Horilka. We need to get some alcohol in for the tavern, so let's make a deal. We can use some sheepskin, but we should soon get the... Um, I don't know what it's called, so I'll just call it the wool maker. And it'll be nice. We can sell 2,000 potatoes because we have them in store there. So let's make a deal with that. And that's it for now. How many potatoes do we have? 20,000. So yeah, that's fine. Alright, so that's up. Yeah, the fooling mill. That was the name I was looking for. We're going to build a fooling mill soon. And we are already getting wool. So then we get the sheepskin and we can start to make warm clothing, which we can really use as well. So that'll be good. Very curious to see how that'll go. So at least we got the houses in. Now we should also plan some wells. Probably should plan a few of those um, behind some of the housing. Or maybe squeeze it in somewhere. Oh, we can do one here for instance, I think. That's one. Then we can do one here as well. Yeah, it's not a perfect circle, but I guess I like it that way. Let's squeeze one in here. Yeah, there's a couple of ear here's already one, so that's good. And perhaps let's do another one right here. We have to at least make sure that they can all get the food they need. And this is cool, not enough alcohol on the local market, but alcohol will come in here soon. Yeah, still not enough people, but that takes some time. Let's go to speed 3 for now. So the primary school is a big project. They're taking their time. But it'll be fine. Then we get a house, a fooling mill, and a windmill. And then a few more houses and sheep farm. Yeah, I want all these things done, so... Prioritizing isn't really something we do right now. Have to put these wells in between, though. Otherwise, we'll get too many houses and just not enough water. 
Oh, this is very good. I really like it when the school is done. But that will make sure that we get um, more educated citizens. Here we go. Let's get a teacher in and let's get kids to school. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it here already. I did mention it in the um, live stream one, but the original creator of the game, who is still the developer, is... Uh, well, the last news is that he is in a safe location, but he doesn't have access to the computers where he has all his Ostrich stuff on, so he can't develop the game any further. He recently started developing a, a different game, and another game. Sorry, I had to cough. That's... Um, also about city building, it's a little bit different than this. If you look up Ostrift, you should probably find it in the Steam. It, it is on Steam. But he plans to um, continue working on this game, of course, as soon as he can uh, get to his computer again. So that's why no new, real new improvements are being made at this point. Um, and I guess all we can do is have the highest respect for that. Um, but he, he does wish to continue this. So let's hope peace comes quickly. People can get back to their homes and start their lives again. And, um, well, hopefully then Ostriv will be developed further. But, well, I guess that's not really of big concern. The biggest concern, of course, is that people are fine and doing okay and stay healthy. So let's hope that will be the case. All right, I'm going to try and get an extra field going here so that they will remove these trees. We kind of stopped that a while ago, of course, because, well, it just takes a long time and there's a lot of walking to be done. But I think right now could be the moment to actually continue doing that. It's 16 trees. We have plenty of wood and firewood. We can see these have all got the trees that they need to do all the productions. So I think this is a good moment. All right, we can see kids going to school. I'm really happy with that. Not sure if we should get a um, school on this side as well. Perhaps we should. Alright, we have some mead here. Now, there's still not enough alcohol on the local market. Because I think we probably have to add it to one of these market stalls. So let's add some mead here. And some horilka, because that's also what we're getting. And then as soon as it's on the market, this should be working. And there should be a family coming in that will um, work in the tavern. At least I hope so. And then we'll see. Ah, messenger again. Oh, this one comes by pretty quick. Yeah, there's nothing to sell right now that I want to sell. This granary really isn't filling that much because probably there's not enough laborers to do that. Ah, oh, let's see. All right, it's July, so I guess soon, in half a month, the ripening will start, or is that August? I'm not sure anymore. We'll see. Ooh, only 12 trees left, so that's working. Got some sheep here. And a lot of newborns, so that's good, because once we get the other sheep farm, we can get the guys in there as well. The fooling mill is done. That's nice. Let's put workers in there. And that should also mean that the extra mill that I was building is done. Yeah, there we are. Let's get some extra flour. We completely ran out, or almost, so we have plenty of weed. 10,000. So yeah, let's start working. Get the weed out of here, and let's start making some flour. Uh, which these can pick up. That's just a short walk, so let's hope that works. I'm going to add two extra people into just this one, because I want them to start picking up some stuff. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, things look stable in the city. I hope the game stays stable too, because, well, that can be an issue every now and then. We'll just slow down in a little while. Ah, we are... We're not building this bridge yet. We'll do that later. All right. Do we need to get there? No. So let's move up the bridge. I want houses extra here first because we really need more people living here. 
two houses there and some warehouses, but that's fine. Because those warehouses will not require too many people to function. Probably just one. So what we can do is just set it to one. And then apply to all. We don't really need that many people in there. Usually the filling takes some time. But after that they just have to keep up the stuff. And that's fine. Alright, we're getting broth clawed. Which means that we should be able to produce warm clothing soon. I guess we also need to create some space for that then. No textile or something. Alright, well... We'll wait until they pick this up. Taylor should be picking up... Yeah, broth cloth and tan sheepskin. Well, they should be able to tan some sheepskin here. Sheep hides. Yeah, we'll have to slaughter a few for that. That'll happen soon. Alright, let's slaughter a few of these rams. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. We'll just keep one. That should help out in the um, sheepskin. Smitty is doing a good job. Linseed, firewood and iron. Well, perhaps we should get iron. I'm going to build one here. Two, actually. So I'll put some stuff in there. Construction complete. Village house. We still have housing available. Is a family already not enough alcohol on the local market? Well, there should be now. Now they're bringing it in. Small amounts. Yeah, there is plenty. I guess we really need some housing. Alright, let's see. Merefa. Should we buy anything? I don't think so. Can we sell anything? Well... We can sell 2,000 salt. That'll give us some money. Flex to be sold. No horseshoe, no chicken eggs. Maybe some buckwheat. No, we have only 8,000. I'm not going to sell that, so that's it. Alright, well, at least we made a deal. That's what counts right now. Alright, let's take a closer look at this. All the houses are done now. From the first and second circle. So that's nice, I guess. Looks cool. Ooh, this one is done. Perfect. Let's set it up then. Alright, all fields are set up for buckwheat and sunflowers. So let's continue with that. We'll give this fellow, then we'll do sunflower, and then we'll do buckwheat. Nice. Alright, let's activate it for next year. This will be good. I guess then we also need an oil... Sunflower, an oil workshop, yeah, to turn oil from sunflower seeds. Well, since the farm is here, we should probably put this in pretty close. Let's rotate it a bit. We can just put it right there. I think this is a nice spot. Some room, there it is. Can move it up a bit, I guess, but we desperately need those extra houses. What's this? A sheep farm. All right, we get the extra sheep farm. Let's slow it down a bit just to make sure that my computer can keep up. They have all the resources, so that's good. Did they already bring the resources here? Well, almost. Do we have enough nails? Yeah, 600, so that's good. We are running out of charcoal again, slowly. And we don't have laborers at this point because all the farms are very busy. All right, well, let's see. Can we slaughter some animals? I think so. Yeah, that's good. That's a lot of bulls getting out there, but that's fine. Yeah, this one can go as well. This one will turn one in a month. Alright, that's working out. Artichet's doing fine. Yep, they're getting their stuff. All they need now is some sheep skin as well. These are cow hides. Question is, did this already get the uh, amount? Yeah, it got 100 sheep hides. That's good. There's more incoming. Another 50. I guess one sheep only gives 50. So we'll need to slaughter a few more sheeps. But with the extra sheep... I don't know. Sheep farm sounds so special. But I guess it's just what it is. Uh, 
and then that will help get the amount of uh, sheepskin that we need. And of course, once we get a complete batch done, that will really help. Because that gives quite a bit of sheepskin that we can use to our advantage. Alright, they're doing a good harvest, but this one is completely filled out with weed. Perhaps we should store some weed in this one. Let's go th try that out, because otherwise we will completely run out of stuff. And that's not what... or we'll just lose a lot of this stuff in here. That's not what we want. We want to get the resources in. There they go. Picking up some weed here. That should make some... Just a tiny bit more space. Alright, let's go speed 3 again. Really happy this field is done, so perhaps we should try another one soon. Well, sheep farm is done. So, use a fellow field. Let's apply this to all so that it works. And let's see, they should get in, start filling up on stuff. We have plenty of hay close by. And I believe there should be a well somewhere. Or is it not built yet? Oh well, we can build a platform here. To provide the water. Let's do that quickly. But as soon as they have the water, it will be fine for a while. Yeah, they, there they have it. So we can move a few animals over. At least one ram. That's one. And then one, two, three, four, five... Right. That's it. We'll keep it like this for now. And then see if they can both uh, do a good job. Currently 21, currently 7. We'll see if it grows, but I think it will. And yeah, they're clearing it out, but they're immediately filling it up again. This might help. An extra one for flour. We are slowly stacking up a little bit on flour again, so that's good. School's working. Five kids in there. We now have a watering system here. So that these can get water close by. Do we have some milk? No, we don't. Only ten. I think milk is one of the underperforming things in the game. I mean... If you have like 10 cows, they can give quite a lot of milk during the year. And in this game, then there's not a lot of milk coming from it. So I think that should require some tweaking. What are your thoughts on that? Please let me know. Curious to know. But I think that really needs some thinking over. Alright. Let's put stuff in here that we need. So we get... We put in iron because... Well, that's something that we can use in there. We'll put in nails. We can put in metal parts. And I think we should put in horseshoe, but we're not really making them. Or at least not a lot, so we'll just set it to 10. And then we can add horseshoe to this as soon as the first one is done. Yeah, there it is. Well, we'll set it up to 2500. Probably won't make it to that, but that's fine. Flex, textile, leather and wool. Now that's good. I just think that we need to store... I don't know, maybe some clothing. Do we already have a clothing one? Yeah, we already have that. So we don't have to store clothing there. Linseed, firewood, iron. That's okay. These two are empty. We'll fill out one extra with firewood. Yeah, there it is. Because I think that's a good thing. Alright, let's do this and then apply to all and apply to all. So now they should fill this one out with firewood. What else can we use right there? Potato, buckwheat, apples. Well, of course, this is the one that could also store some weed. Yeah, not really necessary at this point. 
I think. Well, at least we get the firewood now, and that's what I want. And we will put firewood in here as well. We really need to stack up on that, because there will be times when we are going to need a whole lot more firewood than right now. And setting that up properly and having plenty is really important. Alright, they can take from other warehouses. That's fine. Perhaps we should stack up on some charcoal. Just so that we have in store. We we'll use this one at least for charcoal, 5,000. So that we have some in store. I think that'll work. And we need to store some sunflowers, but maybe not here. Well, let's do it. Just in case we have an overflow of sunflowers. Otherwise, we'll just they will be brought here. At least we're storing things now. That's good. They're still picking up stuff from here. Not really, but these are, so that should work. Maybe not too good, but we'll see. Ah, they're finally building the extra layer of housing, which should help us get more people in. Here comes the bad weather, and that will mean that all the crops remaining on these fields will be gone. New family settling in town, that's nice. Still not enough alcohol on the local market, so it's, it's a real issue. I'll put some of that stuff in here. That might help out. Real car and meat. We'll just do a thousand each. That should help. And now it's just waiting for free people. I think most of those people are still busy because, yeah, we need a lot to get all the charcoal pits going and do some backlogged work there because of the harvest. So, yeah, now we are really investing in... Um, just extra people to get all the jobs done. And one of the things I would really like to get is a cart shed in this area. It'll make transportation so much quicker. I think we can put it up um, somewhere here. Let's rotate it. Turn it around. Just along this main road would be nice, I think. So let's place it right there. I'm going to move it up. I want that cart shed done. Perhaps we should do a cart parking as well, just to get some extra carts. We have one here. And none here close by, so yeah. We'll do a cart parking here next to these farms. Oh, this this one would be good. Or this place. I think this will be strategically placed. So if we do it right here... These carts can be used for this granary, for this farm, for the sheep farms. That'll be nice. Messenger from Merefa. Can we sell anything? Yeah, some salt, so let's sell some salt. And maybe we can sell sunflower oil in a while. As soon as we start creating it, but that takes time. Alright, we have a few women looking for a job. So Apparently, we're doing slightly better on that front. And now we have a family in the tavern. Perfect. Ooh, and they're getting all the stuff that they need. Now, I think we should go and check our economy. Because did we set a tavern tax? Yeah, we did. Alright, let's get it pretty high. Set a wealth tax. Alright, this is good. We have had no families in, in financial troubles lately, so that works. And we did get plenty of money from trading, so yeah, that's all good. Alright, let's see. Can I find warm clothing? 300 warm clothing, so that's working out as well. We have plenty of clothing. Apparently also plenty of warm clothing, so people can stay warm during this winter. That's a good thing. We have 11,000 buckwheat, we have 16,000 potatoes, we have 700 flour, so that's really working with the extra meals. We have horilka, we have some meat, we have apples, 5,000, so that's working out. 
so all those things are looking quite good actually. Finally, laborers get to work here to bring in some stuff. Yeah, that's good. So we are slowly picking up the pace after we did just lose some crops. Alright, do we need any of this? We need iron. Yeah, we need iron because the town storages are completely emptied out. So let's buy some iron. I think we should go for a uh, smelter to produce our own iron. That could be a good thing because that's rather cheap. Do we need to sell anything? Really, we don't have enough clothing yet, so I don't want to sell that yet. Maybe later on. Not now. We do have quite a good amount of shoes. So we might start selling those soon. Right. I think we should find a place for the smelter. Let's read up first. The smelter produces iron by heating iron ore in a furnace using charcoal. It is constructed in a form of a water mill, which uses a dam to stream water through a well. Wheel drives below. Alright, one unit of iron takes five units of charcoal and five units of iron ore. Keep in mind that the smeltery dam will obstruct movement of trading and fishing boats. Alright, well, the trading boats come in via this way. The fishing is done here, so we should probably put the smelter somewhere here then so that it doesn't obstruct anything. So let's try that. Can we place it here? It needs a narrower river segment. Oh. I was afraid of that. Probably needs to be... Alright, here's a very small spot where we can build it. Even terrain. It needs to be on a spot where it can hit the other side, I guess. Ooh, we have another messenger. Let's sell some extra salt. I really want to make money. Ooh, this could also be a good spot. But that's pretty far away from any housing. Well, same here. But I think this is a little bit closer than this. So perhaps we should just put it down here. It doesn't have to work that efficiently. As long as it does work a bit. So let's just put it down. We'll put a warehouse with it. For all the stuff. Like charcoal, etc. Right, we'll put the warehouse right here and we'll make a few charcoal pits. Let's see. Let's rotate it a bit. One. Uneven terrain. Yeah, that's not good. One. I think one charcoal pit will do a trick for now. Here we go. The um, better weather is coming, so we're going to do some farming again. Finally, they got some stuff out of here, so that's good. Although they can still get lots more stuff into this uh, granary. Curious to see why they don't. New family is settling in town. We don't have a house available. Whoa, this is a good family. Got quite a few good families coming in, although... Yeah, some are married, but just as one. One out of six houses is a married couple. The rest is all newcomers. That's good. I kind of like it that way. Well, farms need a lot of workers. Can they get them? Yes. Ooh, these can get a lot of workers. They'll probably have to finish one farm first, then go to the next. There's only one one-year-old there. So no slaughtering be done soon. How are we doing here? Still waiting for sheepskin. Can we get some extra sheepskin already? Just one ram that's one year old. And same here. We already have a newborn, so that's good. Let's hope we get quite a few newborns. This one is done, so let's get the... Um, carts out. And this is done as well, so let's start creating a lot of carts. We won't use this one for construction, just to bring resources around town. I think we can set this to like 35, 33%. See what that does. For now we don't have the people for it. And since it doesn't have any cards yet, we'll just wait until we um, can put people in that actually can do something. Alright, now they can't. 
Yes, it might be a good thing I'm thinking of now to get a carpenter on this side. I don't think we already did. And because we don't... Let me check what this is. Yeah, that's the line works. Should be able to just find it. Where is it? Right there. Well, that's it. So yeah, let's build another carpenter to make sure that we can get building carts on this side of the river as well. That might be a big plus. Alright, let's move it around slow so we can place it nicely. There it is. Let's move it up together with the oil workshop. This one is full. Yeah, I can see that. That's fine. Alright, so I guess the firms, first farms are done because this one, yeah, just needs no more laborers. This does need quite a few laborers. This one is completely done. No more laborers needed. And this one only needs a few more laborers. So that's working out well. Finally doing the sewing pretty quick. So having the extra people around actually works. Quite happy with that. Really happy with this. Yeah, just selling all the alcohol to all the happy people. We have a vacant house, that's nice. Here we can see what the streets look like. So perhaps we should start putting in a few birch trees. I like birch trees. Let's just make this a nice neighborhood. Can be happy. And perhaps we should also put in a few benches then. Let's do the different benches now, because I'm always doing the same ones, because I like those the most. Let's put in a few extra. Right, we'll make them face two ways. We'll put a bench near each tree, and we'll make them face the other way, like this. Let's rotate it a bit, so we'll do it like this. And this. Something like that. Don't know why, just for fun. Yeah, I'm not going to place two benches near every tree. That's it. And so this is some sort of a, a, a big street where people can sit and relax and trees grow, etc. I like it that way. Here we get another house. Almost up to 300 people. That's also a thing I like. And we're not short as many people now. There is some room in the farm, although it's not nearly enough. So have to do something about that. Village house is done. Next up will be the oil workshop. Well, I think now could be the time to put... No, there's still no carts in here. So, no, we are not going to... Um... Ooh, these are straight off being used. That's good. Sign that we really needed those. Very nice. But yeah, since they have no carts here... Let's not put workers in it. Guess we can really use the carpenter now. Interesting. Alright, here we are with the oil workshop. Bringing in all the clay to build it. Here comes the building squad. There it goes. Yep, I do want to get working on oil. We have a messenger from Balaklia. Let's see, what should we get? Could get five sheep or something like that. We have plenty of money anyway. And that means that we get... Uh, ooh, that was just in time. That means this one can grow quicker, because now it is only nine. This is already twenty-five. So we could use that. We have... Ooh! We have a lot of rams one year old. That's good for the sheep hides. So let's continue with that. Really would like to see this going. Ten kids in school. Look at that. Oh, they all look alike. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, like, I don't know what's the correct name. Quadruplets or something like that. Twins, but then four way. <laughs> Interesting. All right. They're bringing in a lot of goods here. Ah, the first card arrived. Let's see. Let's put workers in here. It can 
perform preemptive repairs. And I think we should set this up to 5,000. And 50. Apply to all. Apply to all. So, now they can really start working on making carts. Still short of people, though. Ah, oh, there come the extra houses. Sorry, going to move the bridge up again. Really want those houses up. 300 people. Now, that's a nice moment. Eight thousand buckwheat, fourteen thousand potatoes. We have thirteen thousand hundred to thirteen hundred flour. We have three thousand apples, so that's all working. I believe this one will soon get new trees, and these two are finally going to produce good amounts. I think we'll see. These fields are growing nicely, so that's working out well. Messenger arrived. Ooh, we need to buy some extra meat again. Yeah, we're slowly running out already. Can we already buy some iron ore? No, not really. Because it will just fill things up and we don't have anywhere to put it. We have a store. So, Alright, this is all good. Let's just keep it this way. New family is settling in town. Ooh, that's a nice family. Very welcome. Ooh, we already have 800 sunflower oil. Let's start selling some sunflower oil. In town. And then later on we can... Put it in... Um, in other areas. But for now, let's just sell it around town. And then at a certain point, I will try and sell it on the market. I just like to take care of my people. And I think they want sunflower oil. Let's sell sunflower oil. Anything else that we have that we're not selling here? Flour, apples, clothing, milk, buckwheat, firewood, honey, potato... Fish, warm clothes, beef, and shoes. I think we're selling most of the stuff that we have, but we can check. Anything I didn't put in there that we... Oh, maybe firewood? No, we are also selling fish already, so that's not it. Well, maybe we should sell some salt. I'm not sure if they want that. Let's do apply to all... And apply to all. Now there's a worker in there getting sunflower oil. That's nice. Messenger from Merefa. Let's sell some salt. That's about it. That's all I want to sell, so this is good. And I think we should put in some sunflower oil here. I think we can reduce the amount to just 250. We don't have to get big numbers in. Same here. Just do some sunflower oil. And we could also just decide that this is all that we're going to sell in our market. And all the rest that we make will be something else. Alright, let's get the honey out because we're not creating any and we're not buying it anymore. We put the sunflower oil in there. Alright, that's it. <clears throat> Still one card only. They're not really busy with doing that. I guess they need wood. We didn't run out of wood, so that shouldn't be an issue. And the number of people that we need with open vacancies is dropping, so that's also good. Let's just tell them that the carter can supply them. And then put somebody in the carter. Let's see if he can uh, supply some stuff to them. They really need wood. They can get it close by, so why aren't they picking it up? I'm really curious. Probably doing some preemptive repairs or something like that, I guess. Perhaps there's a little bit of a backlog, so... The other carpenter's probably pretty busy as well. No, they also need wood. 
They just need to get it. This is set to 500. Ah, I made a mistake. Should be 5,000 and then apply to all. That works. Now they can get enough wood and then finally do what they need to do. My mistake. Yeah, good. Alright, that's looking better. Ah, there's another cart coming. Or at least it's ordered and they're busy, busy with it. The guy's also walking around, doing some stuff, delivering somewhere, so that's good. There's the extra cart. Yeah. Getting in the extra wood really worked. Right, it's time to harvest. And they're bringing everything in. Very good, very good. Yep, this works. Alright, so I say we kind of improved the farm. We got a lot of extra housing done. The complete second circle and, well, half the third circle already. We um, got some industries extra. We have some warehouses all over town now with some firewood. We made some sales. And we grew our population by quite a lot. Well, this is going to be it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. I will respond to it. And then, of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.